Uh, okay, what we covered in class is the example, okay, which is uh, more or less the standard one, base 2, base 8, base 10, base 16, and some other base. However, do not assume uh, do not assume the other base will not be asked in question for uh, in test, quiz, or exam. Because, for example, we can ask you base 7. We can ask you base 5. So what is different? Different is just, for example, base 5. We have uh, five symbol, which is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay? For the base 5. So, okay. Um, <clears throat> Before I start, uh, uh, do some revision first based on the video that you watch. Okay. Excuse me, doctor. Uh, sorry? The, the, the quiz will be on that uh, lecture? The quiz will cover cho uh, topic one and topic two. So, what do you think? It will cover all. Okay. Thank you. Cover all. Okay. So, uh, so for example, if we have base five, okay, we have, if we have base five, mean we have five symbol, five symbol. So, it is uh, zero, one, two, three, and four. Can be either this, okay? So, for example, you can write uh, one, two, base of five. Okay, it is not covered, right? In the lecture, it's not even covered in the module. Okay, so means that we can ask you. Any other base system that is not uh, included in our standard base system is actually just as ex ex, uh, extension. Okay, you just need to be uh, you just need to customize it. The the principle is still the same. Okay, for the principle is the same. means like this is four, so you have five. Uh, weightage is zero, and then weightage is one, and then if we have decimal point, for example, uh, one and four. Okay. For example, here, if we have point here, so this one will be 5, negative 1, and this one will be 5, negative 2, okay? So, we can even ask you 7, okay? So, I will give you uh, exercise, don't worry. Uh, and, and then, uh, I hope that you guys will buy the module. It's not compulsory, but I hope you will... Um, you will buy the module eh? because the module is our syllabus. Uh, if uh, if I mean uh, someone, the lecturer have created it based on our syllabus. So it's better to buy the module, okay? Um, Doctor, mm. but uh, most of us are uh, living, uh, uh, I know are this not living in Malaysia, so we can't uh, buy it uh, because yeah. there is no shipping. Yeah, uh, I know, I know, uh, because this already happened to last semester, okay? In fact, previous, previously, uh, I'm trying, previously, I'm a bit, uh, you know, I'm a bit, con uh, I try last time, I pay, I try, uh, I, I, uh, I transport it to the student, okay? I transport it, I mean, I deliver personally to the student, okay? It's not compulsory for me to do that. I buy the book and I post to the student and end up disappear. Doesn't even reach the student. So that time, uh, because I, I I myself understand student doesn't have money so much. Student is not working. It's logic. So last time, what happened is that I pay uh, hundred. Uh, I don't know how, how much I pay hundred twenty, and uh, hundred twenty and um, and the student and the book didn't even reach the student. Okay. So I lost one hundred twenty ringgit, and I say to the to the student, uh. It's okay. You can. I do. I will not charge you. I say to student. Uh, I say to that student. Uh, the for the delivery, it's okay. I will not charge you because it's not your fault. So means I already lose some money. Then I say to the student. Uh, but you at least you need to pay the book to me. But the student didn't pay. So I I totally lost one hundred twenty ringgit. Plus plus plus. Huh? one hundred twenty ringgit plus plus plus. Uh, excluding my time that I come queue at the post office send. Okay. So this is just uh, not, uh, if possible to have the book is good, but if it doesn't have, uh, it's okay. Okay, try to uh, uh, to do more exercise. Okay, uh, I think this subject also you can find exercise online. Okay, that's why I try to help uh, you during tutorial session. You must do exercise before coming to 
to the tutorial session if you want to uh, to pass this subject and of course inshallah i want you guys all to score as high i mean as good as possible maybe a a plus okay so work with me so that uh, we will try uh, okay despite this online condition uh, everything is not easy i know you guys are not here physically okay okay um so i uh, okay i'm sh changing the screen <clears throat> I know some of you is not here because we still have online class, uh, but I'm not sure when you guys need to come back to here. Okay, I mean, uh, not sure when did you you will need to attend uh, you to university physically. Okay, uh, not sure yet because I have been heard that maybe you guys need to come physically. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't know which which screen that you should uh saw this screen. Uh, which screen did you uh so uh did you saw just uh uh you saw just now? Is it the presentation screen or what? Oh my god! Uh, wait, now. Can I see any screen? Can see any screen? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, we can. Uh, wait. Oh my god! Oh, oh because I'm not sharing, right? Wait, wait. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, now we can see. Okay, Shuttle. wait. Okay, uh, but we can't. No, no, no. I'm change. I'm trying to change. Uh, to change my screen first. Okay, okay. So hopefully, it's, uh, you can see the screen now. We okay. can see the identity, the identity, the files. Uh, Yes, I know this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. We can see the whole screen, not only a specific one. You can see this. Yes, yes. The you, the PowerPoint. You can see the PowerPoint, the the PowerPoint view or uh, presentation. Yes, yes. This one. Uh, yeah, the presenting. Yeah. Okay. I can't see any, sir. Oh my God. Um, what can I do? Now you can see the screen. Yeah, we can see the screen. Okay. The presentation. So, uh, okay, okay. Uh, bit difficult, huh? It's, it's better to. <clears throat> okay. Wait, uh, I'm trying to do something. I don't know why uh, it's showing. Uh, okay, sorry, I cannot do anything. Uh, it's wasting time. Okay, because when I press, when I press a uh, presentation view, it will go to my another display, uh, my main display, uh, my second display, which uh, I want it to be here. Okay, but never mind. Okay, so uh, we, we just you uh, we just see from this view uh, because I cannot if I press presentation. Okay, it will show this one. You will show, you will see this one. Okay, which I cannot do anything with it. Oh my God, this is very terrible. Okay, so I present it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's okay. Yeah. Never mind, next time I will just use Google Slide, it's better. Okay, so never mind, we just go to here. Okay, so uh, okay, so uh, today, uh, this week, we will learn about a uh, number system. Okay, number system. So, number system is actually the numbers that we uh, use in uh, daily life. Okay, the digit, uh, the one that you being used in digital system is binary, which is uh, means binary means two symbol. Okay, which is only zero and one. Okay, and in our daily life, we often use decimal, which is zero until nine. Okay, zero until nine, which is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And we, when we finish with nine, we repeat again the digit. One zero, so it's become two digit. Okay, one zero, one one, one two, until one nine, and then uh, we go to two zero. Okay, and then we continue to one and so on. Okay. 
So, uh, you learn about this uh, binary numbers, okay? Binary to decimal to binary, okay? This one is the system which 0 and 1, okay? Okay, for example. Okay, and what, this one is a hexadecimal number where we have uh, 0, what is happening? 0, 1, Okay, then until we have nine, then we have another we have another one A, B, and so on. Okay. So then we have octal numbers. Okay, octal numbers we have a uh, zero, uh, one until I mean the symbol, uh, the symbol system. Uh. So we have zero, one, two until seven. Okay, so this one is a uh, add symbol. Okay, so we have add symbols. Okay, we call it symbols. Okay, this one we have uh, hexadecimal. We should have six. We should have sixteen symbols. Okay, and then uh, octal to decimal is the conversion, and this one is binary coded decimal. What does it mean? Binary coded decimal is that. Uh, the number is decimal means uh, zero until nine. It's okay, the possibility of zero until nine. However, we represent it into binary coded decimal. Normally, uh, it's uh, uh, never mind. We'll go after uh, later. Okay, this one will be in your maybe in uh, this one is maybe in uh, week three. Okay, so don't worry. Okay, so without further ado, we go to this uh, counting in binary. Okay, so binary means two. Okay, I believe that you guys learn this in your secondary school huh? uh, or maybe in your foundation. So binary means two. So in binary number system, a digit has only two values, zero and one. So for decimal is zero. If in decimal is zero, in the binary is also zero. If it's decimal is one, the binary is one. And then after that, the, after that is the difference, okay? I forget my uh, touch screen uh, pen. Uh. Okay, I'm using my finger now. Okay, so if you have here, uh, one one is this one is. Um, okay. So, oh, okay. What happened? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. So, if you see this, this one is directly. Understandable, okay, and this one and this one is it. But how about two? Okay, how about two? So for two, okay, in decimal we need to convert it to binary, okay. So in the binary system, okay, we have binary point or decimal uh, or point. Uh, uh, this this for base ten we call it decimal point, but for the binary we call it binary point. Uh. So here is the x, for example, x and y, okay. And then we have a uh, W, for example, okay? So here will be 2 to the power of negative 1, okay? And then we have another, for example, uh, Z, okay? Z, then we have 2 to the power of negative 2, okay? And then here X is, after the decimal point, is 2 to the power of 0, okay? And then here is 2 to the power of 1, okay? Because it is binary, it is it is only have either bit symbol zero or symbol one. Okay, only have two values. Okay, so if it's uh, what the combin what is the combination for us to have this uh, decimal two in terms of binary? Okay, so two is actually if you see it's actually two to the power of one will equals to two. Okay, so that's why if you see here. Uh, 2 to power 0 is equal to 1. Okay, it's not what we want. So this is 0. And of course, this one is not decimal numbers. I mean, it's not a fractional number. So 0 here. And then this one is 2 to power 1 is equal to... Uh, this one is base 2. Okay, and this one is for base 10. Okay, 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. So that's why we use... We put 1 here. Okay, because 1 times 2 to the power of 1 is equal to 2. Okay, the same go for three. Okay, the same go for three. We want the combination to have uh, answer of three. So if this one is two, 
okay, one zero. So now it is one one, okay, and so on. Okay, so I forget my touch screen pen, eh? okay, a bit difficult. I'm using mouse, okay, uh, <clears throat> okay. Next is uh, if you want to convert the binary to symbol, okay, I already explained just now indirectly, okay, indirectly. For example, this one is uh, we want to convert uh, the bit, uh, find this decimal value, huh? okay, find the decimal value. Now is, uh, okay, okay, now uh, now you see, right, the, the area, huh? because the slide is uh, up to, because the, the one that making slide is also human like you and me. So it's not it's import, uh, it's possible for the slide to be to have error. So this one is decimal to binary. Okay, for example. Okay, so find the decimal value of zero zero one zero one. Okay, so there is a bit uh, uh, mistake. Okay, there is a bit mistake in this uh, in this. Uh, what do you call it in this question eh? okay because it's find the decimal value of zero zero one zero one so the one that they miss okay the one that they miss here okay um this one this one should be shown hmm. okay so this one is i prefer to give the slide after eh? okay so find the decimal value of zero zero one zero one two okay this one and if okay if the question if any question give you uh, numbers without any base okay without any base uh, normally normally it is base 10 understand Do you guys understand my point if it doesn't give you any base okay my voice not clear uh I think already clear, right? Because I cannot uh, do anything because this is internet. Okay, that's why I record. Uh, inshallah, you will. Inshallah, you will listen. And then internet doesn't mean that my internet is not good. Maybe the internet at your side. So we don't know which which connection is uh, have bad connection. We doesn't know your part or my part. Okay. So don't worry. That's why I. Uh, that's why I uh, record. Okay, I record. Okay. Okay, if the question, uh, if the question didn't give you the base, uh, for example, uh, okay, for example, uh, if the question didn't give you any base, for example, like this, for example, uh, just for example, let's say they give you, Okay, let's say the question just give you like this. Okay, so when they give you this number six 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 six, so it can be actually either um, uh, either uh, octal, either either uh, seven base system. Okay, seven z. Uh, okay, or or decimal. It can be any. But if they didn't put, okay, if they didn't put, uh, it's uh, any base, so it's usually base 10. Understand? Just like logarithm, uh, logarithm. When we didn't put uh, any base, normally logarithm, uh, normally it will be base 10. The same goes for here. If we didn't include, didn't mention any uh, base, normally it's base 10. You guys understand or not? My point. Okay, because question can be anything. Uh, okay. So now this is uh, base two, okay? Uh, so now it's very, uh, now it's because it's not base ten. We must mention what is the base. So for this question, is base two, decimal to binary. So find the decimal uh, binary. Find the de uh, the decimal value. Also, this one is correct. Huh? Sorry, it's not wrong. Based on the question. <clears throat> Okay, so what happened is that uh, one will have a weightage of 2 to the power of 0, which is this one. Okay. And then 0 will multiply by 2 to the power weightage of uh, 0 will uh, multiply with 2 to the power of 1. And 1 will multiply with the uh, 2 to the weight uh, 1 will uh, 
multiply with the weightage of 2 to the power of 2 and so on okay and after that you will get the results 1 0 4 0 0 so you just multiply all of them then you will get 5 so therefore 0 0 1 0 2 base as uh, base 2 is equal to 5 to the to the base of 10. For example, for this answer, okay, uh, of course, uh, if possible, you don't, um, okay, I cannot change, okay, this picture, okay, uh, so if possible, you just put the base 10 for the student, but if the question, uh, question can be tricky, so uh, it can be 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 equals to 5, so means it still is, means that it is base 10, okay, so finish with that, okay, <clears throat> And then we have uh, more number conversions, okay? So this one is, uh, we want to convert uh, our number to the base 10, okay? Why is this? Okay, so now we try to convert this number 650 uh, to the binary, uh, to the decimal system, okay? Uh, so it's from decimal to binary. Now it's from decimal to binary. Just now it's binary to decimal, okay? So I will correct the slide, okay? Uh, this one is, uh, the slide is uh, for, this example is for the decimal to binary. So here, uh, you you use uh, you can use calculator. Okay, I think you guys know, but the calculator, like I told you, may uh, maybe it's allowed or not allowed to, uh, for the examination. And if we allow, I'm not sure yet the outcome. Uh, if we allow, maybe no mark for the final answer. Maybe maybe, and maybe only mark for working step. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Still in discussion. Okay, but for me, I prefer not to use calculator huh, because. Uh, it was the practice before, okay? So, okay, let's say for this one, if you want to use a repeated division, for example, 650, okay? We change, we want to change this uh, 650 to base of 10, okay? I can not to write base 10, it, we should know it is a base 10 because it doesn't have base number and if it doesn't have base, it's normally base 10. So, um, what you do is that you will uh, divide uh, 650 equals to 3 to 5. Okay, you get 3 to 5. With the quotient here. Okay, and is it, the, uh, do you guys have any remainder? Okay, the remainder is 0. Then you proceed, this 3 to 5. Okay, 3 to 5. Divide by 2. Okay, divide by 2. So you will have uh, 162, okay? Do you have any remainder? Yes, okay, you have the any remainder. This one is just to, you uh, input the calculator. And then when you already have this answer until, until the quotient is zero, okay? Until the quotient is zero and remainder can be any value, okay? When you finish, like this case is one, okay? So how you take this value is that uh, your most significant bit, okay? This one will be your most significant bit. Okay, bit. This one will be your least significant bit. Okay. So what is a uh, most significant bit and what is least significant bit? Okay. In a binary system, for example, we have a number okay, x, y, z. Okay, for example, x, y, z and to the base of 2. Okay. So the number that the most, okay, the most right, we call it less significant bit. Okay, and the number that on the left is the most significant bit, okay? So means that less significant bit is the smallest, uh, the smallest number, the smallest value, while um, oh, oh, smaller to everyone, 0 0.5, what does it mean 0 0.5? 0 0.5 is the remainder. Oh, which one? This one? 
3 to 5 over 2 when uh, 6 to the quint and the reminder is 0 0.5, not 1. Wait, my calculator went. <laughs> Doctor, he's right. Okay, so Osama, okay. So this one is uh, 3 to 5 divided by 2, okay? So if you see 3 to 5 divided by 2, the calculator will give you answer. Wait, huh? 3 to 5 divided by 2, okay, I use calculator to be faster. So it is uh, 1, 6, 2. Oh, 3 to 4. It should be 3 to 4. Two, four, wait, huh? Okay, so it's like this, huh? Okay, so this one, uh, we try to see is that uh, we must, okay, uh, Osama and everyone, okay, it's good Osama answer wrongly, okay, because I can tell you guys, uh, we must have remainder here is either one or zero, okay, one or zero. For example, uh, for example, this one is three to five, right? Three to five divided by two. Uh, we should have a uh, one six two point. Uh, we should have a uh, one six two and zero point five, right? Three two five. Okay, one six two point five. Okay. However, if you press, uh, if you press the this one uh, one six two. Okay, you see here one six two times by two, you have three two four. So you must have remainder of one here. Means that what is the the number that we, when you divide by two, you will still have remainder of one or zero. So this is actually three to four, okay? Three to four. So that's why uh, three to five divided by two, question is one, six, two, the nearest one, okay? The nearest one. Because you see one, six, two times two, you have three to four. So you will have a remainder of one, okay? Okay. Okay. We must have remainder either zero or either one. Understand, right? Okay. And then, okay. Now, and then one, six, two, divide by two. This one is no problem because this uh, even number, one, six, two, divide by two, we can, when we divide, we will have exactly zero. Okay. So this is a bit uh, tricky part. Huh? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, enough with that. Now the next one is actually now we want to convert uh, from the binary uh, to decimal. Okay, binary to decimal. So this one I've been uh, I already touched it just now. Okay, you can try this. Okay, you can try this at home. Okay, you can try this at home. Try, try at your own convenience. Eh? Not, uh, you know, don't copy your friend. You try first. Okay, and try not to use calculator. Okay, try not to use the calculator because maybe in the exam the calculator is not allowed because the previous practice we don't allow it. Okay, so uh, two to the power of three and two to the power of one. Okay, so you can see why is we only consider this weightage because <coughs> at two to the power of zero it is zero. Okay, at this weightage two to the power of one there is digits. So one time two to the power of one. That's why two to the power of one here and one normally we don't write. For this one, okay, this one, if we try to put in our binary, okay, one, zero, one, zero, okay, and the weightage is actually two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, and two to the power of three, okay. So this one, of course, zero, so no point, you uh, take into account, so this one directly, so you can see actually one, zero, one, zero. Okay, to base of two is actually what uh, start from this one, the biggest one, uh, one times two to the power of three plus one times two to the power of one. 
Okay. And because it is one, right? We don't normally not everything times by one will become dead number. So this why it is only written like this. 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 1. Then you end up the answer is 1, 0. Okay. Because 2 to the power of 3 is actually 8. 8 plus 2, 10. Okay. So, uh, Mm, okay, so this one uh, I will share and uh, diff okay, please uh, again uh, at e-learning e uh, because I will share from time to time additional note means it's not in the syllabus, uh, not in the syllabus, it's not, I use uh, additional source. So I found sometimes it is good for you. So you need to see e-learning every time uh, because if you don't see it, I will not inform. I put this, I put it, I normally inform in Telegram group, the important one only. Okay, so Okay, you can see this is the what we call a uh, uh, nibble. Okay, nibble or nibble is actually a number of bit for four bits. Okay, four bit and byte is for for eight bit. Okay, I think you already know this somewhere. Okay, when you you know try to internet connection two Mbps, two megabit, and two megabyte is different. Okay, so you need to see which. Uh, which uh, of the word is used by the company, okay? Is it bit or is it byte? So it's different, okay? So this one is uh, for four bits, we call it nibble. For byte is actually eight, means we have, we have eight bits. We, one, one, zero, one, for example, uh, zero, one, one, one. So we have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight bit. Okay, like this. And of course, the word for word is double, which is sixteen. And double word, D word, thirty-two, and quad word, sixty-four. Okay. So Intel CPU consider a uh, sixteen bit uh, as word. Okay, Intel CPU consider sixteen bit as word, and ARM CPU consider thirty two bit as a word. Okay, so word is actually depends. Huh? what is actually uh, this one is the general one, but what is considered by the processor depends. Huh? depends on them. Okay. So so far, uh, is there any question? If not, I will proceed. Okay. Uh, this is a bit simple huh, for the first earlier course. Huh? Uh, earlier chapters. Huh? Okay. And then, uh, okay, you see here, this is the number of bits, uh, how many bits and how many larger value that you can have, okay? For example, if you want to have one bit number, what is the largest value that you can have? And for one bit system, I mean for one bit, so two, one minus one is two to the power of zero, which is equals to one. Okay, for example, the system having three bit system means we can have a uh, X, okay, Y, Z bits, okay, and uh, to the best of two, okay, and X, Y, Z can be, can have either zero or one value because it's binary numbers. So you can see it is a three bit system, okay, it's a three bit system, I, I mean it's a three bit. So if it's three bit, what is the largest value? So here is n equals to 3 because 3 bit okay so 2 n minus 1 equals to 2 uh, 3 minus 1 okay equals to 2 to the power of 2 wait uh. am i doing it correct uh, to the power Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Okay, good. Because there is error here. This one. Hmm, okay, okay. It's okay. Later I... Here, here. Wait, ah. Uh. That's why uh, I don't want to give you the slide before. Okay. There is some error in the information there. Okay, I check the module first. If the module is also giving you the... Uh, I hope the module doesn't have error. Wait, ah. Uh. Wait, uh, I need to check the modules.
Ah, okay, the module is correct, but the slide is incorrect. Okay, yeah. So this why I feel a bit weird because okay. So this one is actually two n minus one. Okay. So if you have three bit system, okay, it should be two n minus one. Okay. So if three bit system two three minus one. Okay, means eight minus one seven. Okay, means the largest value in three bit system is one. 1 1 which is all 1 for binary system and it is equivalent to 7 in the decimal system understand means the largest is 7 so uh, so this why uh, this why i excuse I, me doctor yes is the minus one is the power or uh, after the power yeah yeah this why i say error you know uh, do you understand me this why i say error just now okay uh, I want to correct it. Um, I know, I know. That's why. Uh, that's why I say it's error. So it should be. Uh, um... Wait, huh? I know, I know. Wait, huh? <clears throat> uh, Sometimes error happen. Don't worry. It's normal. Okay. That's why I afraid to give you the slide before this. Okay, now it's clear. Oh wait. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, now in the hexadecimal, okay, hexadecimal means hex, 16, okay. Yes, Ahmed, yes, to 8 minus 1, yes. So, good. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you for being participative, huh? okay. Uh, and then actually, uh, it's good for you to actually participate in class. It will accelerate your understanding and uh, uh, it's good for you huh? because uh, you, you cannot just like listening to cinema, okay. <laughs> <laughs> for all the students huh? okay but i cannot keep on calling uh, can you answer can you answer otherwise we don't have time huh? because i myself have target huh? today should uh, cover what topic until when until what topic okay so now is uh, hexadecimal hex mean 16 okay 16 okay so in hex system a digit can take the value of 0 through 9 a through f just like what I told you guys, okay? Uh, so, 0 to 9, and the next 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, we will represent it using letter, okay? For example, in the binary system, for 0, 0, 0, the decimal is equivalent is 0. In hexadecimal, the same, 0. It is the same for the decimal and hexadecimal until the value of 9. Okay, until the value of 9 is still the same. It start to have different representation when we have a 10 and so on. Okay, so 10 is equals to A, 11 is equals to B, uh, 12 is equals to C, 13 D, E and F. So don't worry, uh, maybe, you know, because I hope that when you watch the previous lecture, you have already some prior knowledge, which is good. Okay, I, what I worry is that you don't watch the previous lecture and you come to my class, maybe you feel a bit difficult to understand. It's normal because you didn't watch it, my previous lecture. If you watch, it will be easily to digest. And if you still don't understand, even if you watch the previous lecture, don't worry. That's why I give you exercise because if I give you exercise, only then you can practice. Am I correct? Only then you can practice and then only then you can know what only then you don't know, uh, only then you know what you don't know first. And if you don't know, you're still able to try to uh, to do uh, yourself and maybe to discuss with your friend, okay? That's the point of having exercise. Exercise is simple, of course, compared to quiz, test, and final. But it's help you to build your fundamental first, okay? So for binary, uh, binary nothing uh, special, okay? Until 111 is 15, okay? I think this is very easy, okay? So we have value 0 to 9, A to F, okay? Of course, it is 16 symbols, means start from 0. That's why 0 until 15, okay? 
So now we will go to the hexadecimal means uh, uh, to decimal means hexadecimal base uh, 16. Okay, to the decimal which is uh, base 10. Okay, and again I remind you base 10 doesn't always need to be put the best number. But for you, you need to put lah. I mean, the question if they want to, you know, trick you. Okay, now hexadecimal number conversion. Okay, now this uh, the wait now. Uh. Okay, conversion convert uh ten to power this one to hexadecimal. Okay to hexadecimal so what you can do is that, uh, first you need to group this into four bit group uh, into four bit group four bit per group okay why okay why later later i say to you why yeah huh? okay uh, why we need to separate into okay one of i mean logic lah one of the logic why we separate it into uh a group having four bits because you can see the largest what is the largest symbol okay what is the largest symbol in hexadecimal can you guys tell me in the web chat in the web chat what is f right yes f f is equal to what in hex uh, in decimal yes 15 okay 15 yes correct it is 15 okay 15 in in uh in binary is what number 15 in binary is what number anyone can guess in binary number uh, uh, it is one 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 yes ones. correct so one 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 means the uh, what is the largest uh sim uh largest bit per group means four right is one 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 means four we use four group i mean we use all four bit inside one set so that's why we divide it to four understand you guys understand me this way we divide it to four first okay like this we divide it to four before we convert mm. okay and then we divide again okay and those that doesn't have complete set you just add another three understand it's easy right you just add another three you can add or you cannot add it's okay but your understanding okay because sometimes maybe you say hey, it's not complete why uh, i cannot solve uh, then <laughs> it's still solvable okay so then this one you find the equivalent you find the equivalent digit in decimal in hexadecimal so this one is two to the power of zero okay this one is two power zero two power one two power two two power three so plus two to the power of three is equals to nine this why you put nine, okay? And this one is equals what in uh, in decimal in decimal first. What does what is in decimal in decimal first? What is this in decimal? Uh, thirteen. Se uh, thirteen. Yes, thirteen. Right. Okay. Yeah. But but the question is asking to convert to hexadecimal. So we doesn't have thirteen in hexa decimal system we only have letter which is a b c d so this one is definitely d okay and then this guy is what in decimal we try to see first in decimal what is this in decimal zero one one zero a six so six in hexadecimal mm -hmm. we still have six right that's why just put six here okay this one, uh, okay, this one nothing lah. This is still one, so one lah, okay? So, this why you end up 1D916. And don't forget to write this. It is always important. If you don't write, it will be, I will, who knows, I don't know who will mark, or maybe we, I will mark. Uh, we will cut mark if you don't write the best. So, it's best 16, okay? Okay? So, good. So far, so good. Okay, now is uh, convert the following to binary. Now we opposite. Opposite, what we want to do. 
Okay, so we take this one, 974.16. Uh, okay, 974. Okay, so now we want to see for 974. <clears throat> 974. Okay, to the power of 16. Okay, so we want to convert it to the binary system, which we don't know how many letters yet, but the best of two. Okay, so what we can do is that last time uh, from hexadecimal, uh, from binary to hexadecimal, um, we prepare in, we divide it into four groups. Now, we di this answer will be represented in four bit. Okay, now we try to convert from 16 to base two. The same from here. Sorry, okay, this one will be another four. Okay, and this one will be another four. Okay, so what is uh, four? Okay, this one is four uh, in hexadecimal. What is four in binary? Anyone? Uh, o, one, o, o. Sorry, can you write? Uh, o, one, o, o, right? O, yeah. one, o, o. Okay, how about seven? Oh, one, one, one. Oh, one, one, one. Good. Joey, I also see your answer. Joey, good. Uh, Hibat, also good. Hibat, you are wrong. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Okay. How about nine? How about nine? One, oh, oh, one. One? Oh, sorry. One, oh, oh, one. One, oh, oh, one. Okay. So, one, oh, oh, one. So, all this, you write back. Okay. You write back. This one. Uh, one zero zero one, and then this one again. This one, uh, zero one one one, and this one, zero one zero zero. Okay. So this is here. Okay. Next, uh, more number conversion. This one is what convert a to binary. Uh, okay. Convert this one to binary and decimal. Okay, this one, uh, I will give you ex uh, exercise you will do, uh, you try to do. And don't worry about uh, to the foreigners. Uh. Don't worry to the foreigners. Um, I know you're not able to have this. Um, uh, okay, uh, if you see last time I help uh, students. Uh, uh, I, I understand the student doesn't have uh, the book. Okay. The, not because you don't want to buy the book, it's because uh, you are outside. So it's last time, last time I even uh, I pro I provide to the student. Uh, uh, I'm flipping the pages. Uh, this one, okay. You can see this one. I uh, when uh, I share to you guys because I know I'm you know I'm also human. Sometimes I pity the student doesn't have the book. So you can see this link. This link is actually that time I flip the book. I flip the pages for the student. For the student, for example, in Indonesia, even they don't have access to my, I mean, to the module, uh, and even for the foreigners, for example, uh, Arab, Arab Saudi, whatever. So last time I provide the video flipping page. So hopefully, uh, I able to do that this semester. Okay, I hope hopefully I able to do that because my phone uh, complaining a uh, memory problem. Okay, inshallah, I try to do. But don't worry, uh, at least I give you the module exercise huh, and you try to do before coming to the class, okay? I will give you a lot of exercise. Huh? Maybe later on, maybe later on you, I don't know, some of you maybe complain, whatever, right? But my in, my my now I too, huh, my intention is that uh, the more exercise you do, the better you will be, okay? Maybe you like, you don't understand now, but my intention is clear. I want you to have a good exercise so that you have better understanding so that you more prepare for quiz, test, and final exam. That's it. Okay. And also, I try to be understanding of the student. That's why my quiz sometimes is flexible. I don't give you like, okay, must do this within my class time or maybe must do this. No, no. I give you maybe like around six hours. And I ch now all majority agree, eh? 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. Malaysia time, okay? And uh, just be honest, eh? just be honest. I trust the student, okay? Uh, answer the question. And you need to up uh, update, you need to upload your working step later on. You need to upload your working step. And pre 
Uh, and uh, remember to use Scam Scanner, Scam Scanner software, and you will up, uh, upload your quiz. And I uh, actually I know uh, student copy or not uh, with each other. I know uh, because this is not my first time become teacher. I know. Um, for example, if the student, uh, uh, don't worry. I know. I know. Sometimes I know, but I just keep it uh, to myself. Huh? But I know if the student copy. Uh. Okay. Okay. So um, this is direct. Decimal to hexadecimal conversion. Submit tutorial on e-learning. Yes. So, um, mm, uh, for the tutorial, uh, okay, for the tutorial, normally we do first. T tutorial you will do before class, okay? You will do before class and you will, uh, you will discuss together in the class. But you will submit after the class. The tutorial. But I will never, uh, you know, I was like, for example, for example, he bought for example, I know Akila didn't submit tutorial, but are you Joey Abe submit? Okay, I never, I will not penalize you uh, because you not submit, but this is for your own good. If you want to do exam in class, you do what I ask. Okay, because I won't penalize. Uh, you can even ask your senior. I don't punish student for not doing anything, but this is for your own good. Okay, uh, direct decimal to hexadecimal. Okay. Uh, in fact, last semester I have a good, uh, you know, uh, I have a good foreign student. Uh, I think, uh, yes, he is Arab. Uh, um, he scored A in my class. Huh? The only one that scored A in my class. I have two section of class. Okay, uh, he the only one scored A in his section, but he is be, he's been very hardworking, very uh, doesn't have problem with me. He do what I ask, and he always, you know. Even the uh, when he, the way he talked to the lecturer, very polite, and ended up he got the only A in his class. But my other section, same subject, uh, the other section majority A, and the other section uh, only one A. So I don't know who what is the problem because the lecture is the same now, material is the same, but why some section doesn't score? Why some sections score? One section majority A. One section and the other section majority C plus. Okay. So this is also depends on the person. Huh? Okay. I will not generalize. Huh? I will not say, oh, this from this country, no good. No, no, no. It's individual. If you are hardworking, you deserve it. Okay. So direct decimal to X conversion. Okay. So mm, this is what? Wait, huh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if you actually watch my previous lecture, uh, you can actually um, you can actually know what I'm going to to teach, huh? Because it's the same. This one is just the same. Okay, wait, huh? mm -hmm. I'm changing my screen. Okay. So the question is asking, okay, uh, to convert a uh, hexadecimal. Hexadecimal using a repeated division method. So you need to see, okay, <laughs> you need to see the question, okay. Sometimes question will ask using what method. So you need to know the method, okay. This one, the name is repeated division method. So this one is 650 to the place of 10 and convert it to 16. So you need to do 650, okay, here, okay, 650 first. And then you need to divide by 16. Okay. When you divide by 16, what happened? You have 40.625. Okay, wait. Uh. Look like I doesn't have space, so better I make it a bit small. Okay, so here 650 to the base of 10. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. So it is 40.625. Uh, uh, okay. So remember, this one is base of 10. Now we try to convert to the base of 16. Okay. Base. Okay. So then you can see uh, 0 0.625 times 16. Okay. This remainders. Okay, remainders uh, in the fractional. In the fractional means in the decimal, in the point here. 
we need to times it by 16. So 0.625, okay? 0.625 times 16, you will have 10. So 10 is actually what? Is actually A, right? Am I correct? Uh, okay, is actually A. Okay. Oh, sorry, I missed this one uh, put here. Okay, in the middle here. Okay. And then, and then what else? Then 40, okay, then 40, you divide by 16. Okay, so 14 divided by 16, what do you have? 14 divided by 16, you will have what? 2.5. 2 Am I correct? Okay, so 2.5. So after that is 0 0.5 times 16. Okay, no space here, okay? <laughs> Sorry, 0 0.5 times 16. So 0 0.5 times 16, you will have uh, 8. So 8 is still 8. Okay, then 2, we proceed to here. Okay, 2 divided by 16, what you have now? 2 divided by 16, you have 0 0.125. Okay. 0 0.125, how you guys calculate? <laughs> how you guess 0 0.156? Uh, oh, sama, how you calculate? <laughs> okay, it's okay. So 0 0.125 uh, times 16 now, okay? Times 16, 0, point, 0 0.125 times 16. What do you get? You get digit of 2. So, digit of 2. So, you read from here, here will be most significant bit, okay? Going down and uh, going up, this is the least significant bit, okay? So, you will have 2, and A, which is best 16, which is equivalent to your 650. Okay. Can you repeat? Repeat what, Mohammed? Uh, repeat what? Uh, because because uh, okay, this 650. Okay, you need to divide by 16. Okay, now we want to convert from base uh, C10 to base 16. Okay, so the digit given is 650 to the base of 10. Okay, so what, because we want to convert it to base 16, so we need to divide by 16. So when we uh, divide this number to 16, we will have 40.625. So all the fractional, we call this uh, fractional, uh, if I am mistaken, all the fractional number, which is 0 0.625 here, not the whole number. This one is what we call whole number, whole number. This one is fractional number. We times, we multiply it by 16. So when we multiply this by 16, we will get 11. Eh, sorry, we will get 10. 0 0.625 times 16. Uh, we will get 10, which is equivalent to A, okay? Uh, this one, I put like this because no space, huh? <laughs> no space, okay? Understand? Do you understand now, Mohammed? Then, 40, we move here. Then we might divide by 16 again, we get 2.5. The whole number we go to here, the fractional number we times by 16. Okay, this is actually for the conversion of from the base 10 to the base of 16. Okay. So you need to watch my previous lecture and my lecture and also my uh, my slide. Okay, hopefully you have complete information. Okay. I think, uh, inshallah, when you write, uh, you read my slide and uh, my previous lecture, I don't know why you cannot, uh, because it's already complete. Okay, no worry. You are a bit lucky compared to my previous student because my previous student, they don't have previous lecture. So for all of my students here, you should make use of my previous lecture. Okay, because your senior doesn't have this. Uh, they only have when I start record and I share later. I'm not sure on the same day eh, because I need to download, I need to on top of my other works. Okay, normally they will get the video quite late. Maybe two to three days after. But I will always update student. I already put at e-learning. Okay. But for you, no. You guys lucky. You get my previous lecture already. Now it's you. Now the effort is on you whether you want to watch it or not. 
Understand, student? The, the effort is you. Uh, I mean, now it's uh, the, the baton is to you, whether you want to watch my lecture video, previous, previous lecture or not, okay? There's no force, but if you want to learn, actually just easy, just click, <laughs> okay? Okay, so this one is uh, octal to decimal, okay? Oh, we have a lot to cover yet. Okay, uh, now it's octal to decimal. So what is octal? Octal, okay, just like octal, octopus, whatever. Eh? <laughs> so this one is actually base. Eight. Okay, and this one is a decimal. Okay, this one is, of course, you know, this one is actually, uh, so sorry, base 10, eh? Okay, and for our octal, what is our digit? Okay, our digit can be uh, from 0 until 7 because it's at symbol. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It can be either of these symbols that are being used. Okay, in contrary with the decimal is 0 until 9. Okay, the symbol that possible symbols. Okay, so for the binary, okay, again, uh, we want to see the, we want to see the logic. Eh? Okay, I try to you i try to um, you know to for you to under, understand the logic hopefully you able to appreciate why why we need to divide by three why we need to divide by four okay so now if you see octal okay, octal what is the highest digit i want to ask you guys octal uh, what is the highest digit in the octal seven so seven in terms of binary is what in terms of binary seven uh seven decimal uh, but then if one to convert to binary is what? Okay, one, one, one means what is the maximum uh, bit per group? Mean what is the uh, maximum bit per group for octal in the binary system? It's three bits. Yes, it's three. So that's why you see here the question octal number conversion convert this number, which is uh, base two, to octal. Okay, to octal. Wait, ah. Sorry, wait for a while. Macam pelik je, kejap eh. I mean, uh, the the title different, but the question is asking the same, uh, asking different, differently. That's why uh, a bit funny, okay. Uh, octal, no, no, no. This one is convert. Uh, convert base 2 to octal. It's okay, as long as you understand, ah. okay. Uh, this one sometimes title is a bit funny eh? because the question here is convert base of two to octal. So this one should be um, the binary to octal. Okay, never mind. Okay, it's okay. Sometimes it's funny. Eh? I don't know why. Eh? Okay, so ignore this. So ignore this. So convert this one to octal means the maximum system. Eh? Uh, maximum bit per group. Okay, meet bit per group for base 8 in base 2 is actually 3. So that's why you divide this by 3. Understand? Understand, right, the logic? No, how we know is it's because it's the maximum. Maximum in maximum in uh, octal number is what? Osama. For base, uh, for base system what is the maximum number seven okay seven in binary is what seven in binary is what no it's one 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 not zero one one it's one 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 right because zero doesn't have meaning there so it's one 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 so one 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 how many place three bit right understand uh understand or not Osama? understand right okay so, because the zero that you typed there doesn't have meaning, means that doesn't have carry value. Okay, so this is three, 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 three. Yes, like every three number, one group, yes. So now, one here, alone, right? Lonely. So you can put zero here, no problem. You don't put no problem, you put also no problem. But you must understand why. So zero, one, zero, zero, one, two is equals to what? In eight, in octal. You guys know this? This one is 2 to the power of times 2 to the power of 0. You will get uh, 1 times 1. So it's actually 1. Okay? Doesn't change anything. And then this is what? This is what? In uh, in octal. Okay? This one is uh, 1 times 2 to the power of 1. Okay? Which is 2. So you still have 2. Okay? 
This one is if you times everything, it will become seven. Yeah, which is the largest symbol, the largest uh, symbol, symbol, the largest symbol that system have. Okay. And then zero one one is what? Zero one. one. Zero one is what? Zero one is three. Okay. And this is one. So that's why this one, then you will have one, three, seven, two, one, and eight. Okay. Equivalent to this long numbers one zero one 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 zero one zero 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 one to the base of two. Why I told this to you guys because I don't want you to you know to just uh swallow what I ask you to understand. I mean, so I, I don't want you to just take whatever I say to you. I want you to understand the logic. Now you can see the logic, right? Of course, maybe this logic doesn't show any, uh, maybe doesn't show anyway. But I want you to appreciate the logic, okay? The logic why, why it's sometimes three bits, sometimes four bits, understand? Okay. Understand so far, you guys? Okay. If you understand, it will be easier, okay? Um, this one... Uh, this one you can try at your own. Huh? Means uh, zero. For example, in now we uh, we opposite. Huh? Now from the octal to the binary. Okay, octal to binary. So if octal to binary, each symbol here, each symbol here, how many pairs we we need to prepare in the binary? How many bit? How many bit? Three. Yes. Understand right? Now it's. Three because the same because the largest symbol the largest symbol in octal is seven. Seven is how much in binary? One 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 three bit. So this why right? three three three. Okay. If hexadecimal, how much? How much guys? Is hexadecimal? How many places we need to have four? Okay. Ah, uh, so very simple, right? Okay. So you guys can try this. Okay. Text your knowledge. Okay. You guys can try this. At home, okay. Um, binary coded decimal, each decimal zero to nine. Each place. Wait, uh. <clears throat> I want to check uh, our. Um, I want to check our expected. Um, our expected cost information. Uh. wait for what? <clears throat> Uh, because I don't want to teach you too fast and I don't want to teach you too slow. Okay, I need to follow. Uh, I need to follow the. You know. Wait, ah, huh? wait. Because for me, sometimes oh, okay, it's easy, so I will teach fast. No, no, no. It's for me, but for the student, maybe not. So that's why I want to see. Uh, if uh, is it okay? If uh, otherwise, wait, uh, wait, wait. I need to see what should be covered for this week. It's uh, October. Oh, okay. It's oh, okay. A lot. Then we need to finish here. We need to finish. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, now. We go to binary coded decimal. Okay, so the word binary coded decimal. Okay, I try to make you understand first. Okay, what is the word here? Binary coded decimal. Okay, why it doesn't allow me to snip? Oh. Okay, now I can do snipping. Okay, so what does it mean by uh, binary coded decimal? Binary coded decimal means it is a binary number. First, it is a binary number. And it is used to represent the decimal value. Understand? Binary coded decimal is the binary, num is the binary system used to represent decimal value. So what is the highest decimal value? What is the highest symbol in decimal system? I want to ask you. 
this is just the same as any else. Okay, nine. So, however, however, in binary coded decimal, okay, we now go to the next stage. Okay, however, in binary coded decimal, it is always four bit binary. Understand? In binary coded decimal, this is different system. In binary coded decimal system, it is four bit binary. Means it's always four bit. Okay. However, we want to code it, our decimal number, which is from 0 until 9. So, in the 4-bit binary system, you can have 0, 0, 0, okay, still 4 place, to represent um, decimal value of 0, okay. This one is not binary, huh? this one is binary code, oh my god, this one is BCD, huh? okay, understand? Okay, BCD, and this one is BCD. Okay, later I change the slide. Huh? Okay, so, and, and then it must be in four digit because this is the system for BCD. So, that's why for decimal, the highest value is 9, but it is 1001. Okay, for example, for example, for example, if I ask you, huh, for example, if I ask uh, Iyad, if I ask Hibat, huh, I ask them, what is what is the uh, what is the uh, seven base ten? Okay, seven base ten in BCD. Okay, in BCD. For example, okay. For example, uh, Hibat. For example, Hibat. Uh, I ask, what is the BCD value? Okay, what is the BCD value? For example, Hibat will answer like this: one, one, one. Correct. It this, uh, I mean, uh, yes, it is still represent value of seven. Okay, and then um, and then, oh, oh yes, Nuru Aina, Uru, Nuru Aina, her answer seven. Uh, I mean in the decimal, but in the BCD she will put this zero one one one. Do you know which one correct A or B? Which one have the wrong answer? Which one is the correct answer A or B? Which is the correct one? Do you guys can answer in web exchange which one is the correct one? Yes, the correct one is B because the system itself must be for B. So, Nuru Aina is correct and Hibat is wrong. So, this one is correct, this one is wrong because we want BCD. But if we want, but if we ask in binary system, okay, if we say just binary system, both answer is correct if it's binary system. Both answer is correct. Because zero doesn't have meaning. However, in BCD, it must be four digit. Okay, Mohammed, you are uh, wrong. <laughs> it must be four digit, uh, four bits. Okay. In binary system, it's still correct, but in BCD, it's wrong. Okay, because it's four bit. Okay, so uh, gray code, um, gray code, wait. Wait, I'm trying to see Unicode, ASCII, ASCII table, ASCII. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Okay. So wait for what? Uh. Okay. I give you around uh, uh ten minutes. I mean, not ten minutes. Five minutes. Uh, we will continue at uh three forty. We continue at. Uh, 3 45 pm huh? okay you guys can go to toilet whatever huh? okay uh, we continue at 3 45 okay you guys can go to toilet first whatever huh? okay <clears throat>
Joey, you get the book or you or you already book or you already get the book physically? Sorry, we didn't hear your voice. You already buy and you get the book already or not? I already get Oh, okay, good. I will give the exercise uh, using the the module. Later on, you will some student will uh, tell to me or oh, too many exercise. Okay, but my intention is for you to to be prepared. Huh? Okay, to be prepared for the class. Huh? Okay, I mean for the. I want you to be prepared. Huh? Okay, of course later on. Uh, I think logic. Huh? because you are not only. Uh, the book is already in our Telegram book, a uh, Telegram group. Uh, I ask everyone to see the message group, okay, in our Telegram group. Uh, you can see in our Telegram group the name and everything, even the photo inside the Telegram group, okay. So anyone that just joined my Telegram group, you need to see all the all the message. That is also one of the reason why student ask me, doctor, can you create WhatsApp group? Doctor, can you use WhatsApp? No, no, no. If I use Telegram group, you the new student, the new one that joined, they will not miss any information. Okay, they can browse the message, the older message. It just depends whether the student want to make effort to read my older message or not. Understand? Understand? You just look into my Telegram group. You see all the all the message. Make sure you read properly. Yeah, don't read, read just like you read comic. Yeah, read properly because every information is important. Okay, there is a book. There is even a link there. Okay, to buy it. Okay, but I know some of you didn't have the module. Okay, uh, but means that uh, if you have the module, it will be easier for the test and also for the quiz. Huh? for the quiz. Okay. Uh, and for the test, so I try my best. I try my best. Uh, maybe to to pro I'm not sure uh, because it's not compulsory for me. Yeah, uh, because you need to buy the book. But I try to be empathy of the student that doesn't have, I mean, doesn't have the opportunity to actually buy the book because they are not inside Malaysia. Okay, so maybe I will try. I will try uh, to provide video. I try. Okay, doesn't mean that I have to because it's not compulsory for me to do so. I try to record later on video. I'm flipping the book. Uh, I'm flipping the book. This is to help you guys that cannot buy the book. Okay. Cannot buy the book, not because don't want, because you are not here in Malaysia. Okay. The module is uh is actually uh, I very you know if possible. Uh, actually I want to say it compulsory, but uh it is encouraged. Okay. <laughs> I, I cannot say compulsory, eh? but uh this book have been tailored to follow the syllabus. That's why it's good to have this book. Later, I will divide you in a group. Okay, uh, I will divide you in majority of two groups. I don't know how many students I have now. Uh, I don't know how much. Huh? I don't know how much. Uh, if I not mistaken, eighteen. Uh, if I not mistaken, eighteen. Eighteen student. Maybe, maybe I will. Uh, I will. Uh, put you in a group exercise, for example. Why I do this? I usually do this. Uh, means that you will able to discuss among yourself the exercise if you don't understand, or. Uh, you have less, you have less workload in terms of exercise. For example, I will give you to do all of the exercise of topic two, but I will give, I will divide you into two groups. I think two groups is enough because our class is, um, I think, how many students? Uh, I don't know. Actually, uh, the student, the number of the student is not fixed until um, until week three. Okay, so I don't know the number of the student, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I will 
I will I will uh, I will put for example Nur Akilah Nur Najwa group 1 for example Nur Aina Ra group 2 okay so I will divide you into two so to re to reduce your workload and also I want you to work among each other and to get to know each other okay I have many other many reasons to put you into group but maybe you don't understand now because you are still young but I want you to you know to have that value to work among each other to work properly to get to know each other because you are COVID because you are a COVID batch means what does it mean by that means you don't have the chance to meet uh, one another in a uh, physical so I want you to, to know each other more because later on you will have group assignment I will give you group assignment means this one that have mark 10 percent so it's better I I try for you I mean I try to make you into group to get to know each other and then to do work faster because you will distribute the workload okay And uh, I will update something at e-learning. Make sure you check uh, because I will uh, share some additional notes at e-learning. Okay. Uh, Inshallah, it's already in learning, but I just need to press show button. Okay. I hide it until we actually finish today. Okay. So always check for my course. Uh, I don't know about the other lecturer, but for my course, you need to check every day my e-learning because there is always something at e-learning if you didn't see e-learning like for example two days maybe your friend already have some document that is two days earlier than i mean already read some document two days earlier which is advantage to him or her but you you know late and suddenly tomorrow you have something to uh, tomorrow something you have quiz for example for example it can be happening. Eh? So that's why I always check e-learning. And normally, uh, I just want to update students. Normally, I update the document. Uh, I mean, normally, I update e-learning. Uh, normally, eh, uh, from 10 p.m. 9 to 10 p.m. every day. Normally, eh, normally, if I want to update something, normally 10, 9 to 10 p.m. So uh, if you want to check my e-learning, you can try to check from 9 to 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. You can try to check. Maybe there is already some document there. Because normally after work, I go to dinner, whatever. I took some rest, whatever. Then uh, I do something, blah, blah, blah. Then I go to e-learning. I try to update something. Okay? Okay? So this group exercise, uh, this uh, will be given as group exercise. Huh? I mean, you will do in group. And uh, when I ask in the Padlet, okay, I ask in the Padlet, all of you should able to share the answer regardless you are in which group. For example, for example, Nurul Aina, uh, she supposed to do uh, work on 2.1A. However, I asked her answer for 2.1B, which is done by Nur Diana. So, Nurul Aina should be able to answer as well. How Nurul Aina should be able to answer? is because you guys do uh, separately, but you compile the answer together. Understand? Understand my point, everyone? Understand, right? Okay. Okay, now we continue. Okay, I share my screen. <clears throat> I will uh, give the workload today. Uh, the exercise, uh, not workload. Uh, it's actually to help you. This, you will not know, I will not learn uh, I uh, mean, uh, better if you don't do exercise huh? because this is just like mathematics, okay? This subject, okay? And later on, you have uh, more electrical subject that is more mathematics than now, okay? Mm. Okay, so this is binary coded decimal. Enough is that. Now we go to the this, the next system. We call it binary. Uh, we call it grey code. I hope it's uh, in the syllabus. I'm mean, in the module. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. So it is inside, okay? It is inside the module, okay? In uh, don't worry about those you didn't have, okay? That's why you have the lecture, you have the advantage of previous lecture, my lecture, and you have the slide, uh, in short, even though it doesn't have module, okay? But the module, oh my, later on, okay? If I if I have the time, eh, I try to record, eh, to think the book, eh? okay? <clears throat> okay, because when I teaching you guys, I also refer to the module, eh? Because I need to see whether this one is inside the syllabus or not. I myself referring to module while teaching. Okay. 
So, okay, this one is binary to decimal. Okay, you now get to know the other system is the gray code. Okay, gray code. You, you already learned this one and you already learned this one. Now, we want to learn another system. Okay, another um, digit, uh, what another digit system, which is the gray code. Okay, gray code still using, um, still using zero and one. However, okay, let me read uh, the definition by the module. Uh, for those that didn't have the module, okay, I read first. Okay, the gray code is a non-weighted code. Okay, where two successes. A successive value differ in only one bit. It was originally designed to be in position encoders, okay, to reduce uncertainty, okay. So if the sensor were at the edge of a change of boundary, binary code would introduce var variable position uncertainty because more than one bit can change at a time, but gray code reduced the uncertainty to only one bit position. Today, it is commonly used for error correction in telecommunication and canop map. Canop map, you will learn later, we call it K-map, okay? The gray code algorithm is given by the expression. Okay, I will show, okay? So, what is so special about the gray code is that uh, the gray code, we only allow uh, the different, okay, within two successive mean, uh, later on, I show, two successive value differ in only one bit. Uh, first, first of all, we need to see the gray code algorithm. Okay, is given by the expression uh, GI. Okay, the gray code algorithm is given by the expression GI equals to BI. Okay, plus you can see here. Okay, and BI plus one. Joey, this one is inside the book, right? Inside the module, right? You have the module, right, Joey? Uh, so, those that have the module a bit, uh, you know, easier lah to learn. Eh? Hopefully, the others will buy. Eh? Those that will join, uh, I mean, the local, eh? local is very encouraged to buy. But the foreigners, I try to help you, okay? I try, inshallah, okay? I try to record, okay? By my, okay, uh, later on, okay? uh okay wherever side okay so for for the binary coded decimal i mean for the gray code the two successive value means the value for example x y z okay w lah w w x y z so this one is only differ with this one is two successive mode means this one is actually uh, successive to this one means they are uh, con continuously okay uh, neighboring to each other, y, z. Okay, so this one is successive. Okay, successive. This one is also successive to each other. Okay, then, okay. So we see, eh, we see first, uh, you can see 0, 0, 0 uh, in the gray code, still the same. Okay, then you can see 0, 0, 1 is still the same here. And then you can see 0, 1, 0, 2, and you can see it's different here. So, okay, now we try to see, um, okay, you can see this is different here. Okay. Then you can see, uh, you can see this different in the two successive value. And then the next one, zero, zero, one, one. Then you can see there is different also in the two successive value. Okay. This. Okay. So I'm using the same example is in the module. So as to relate to the student that have module, huh? actually where I take this example and also I want the student that doesn't have module, so they they able to see the example given that by the module. Okay, that's why I try as much as possible to duplicate myself to the module. Okay, so uh, so you can see here is zero one one zero. This one, you get the answer as zero one zero one. So what is actually happen when we want to uh, convert from the binary to gray code? Okay, I just use wording here so because it's uh, it's a bit 
inconvenient, eh? uncomfortable. But at least you understand that eh? this is binary. This one is gray code. Okay. So for 0, 1, 1, and you can see there is also different in uh, two successive value. Eh? Okay. Okay. So what we can do, okay, first we see this is the binary number 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. How we convert it? To binary is that for the first one zero we go just put zero here okay for the least significant bit okay and most 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 significant bit and then what happened after this zero will be combined with this digit con uh, following it so zero plus one is equals what Zero plus one is equals to one. Okay, I put different colors so that you can see. Eh? And then what happened next is that this one, okay, the next one, this one, will be plus with the next one, one. Okay, we use this symbol, eh? okay, Z circle and pl uh, plus. Okay, so one plus one is equals what? Remember, this is binary. We do we have digit two? Ah, so what? This one, one. Am I correct? Okay. So okay. So uh, where was I? Hilang ulah. Okay. So uh. Now we said we have one plus one. One plus one is two such a value differing only one bit. Okay, so this is zero, one, one, one. Okay, one plus one. Okay, one plus one in the binary. I mean, in the in edin, uh, addition, 1 plus 1 is actually uh, 1, 0. So this guy, 0, and 1 we transfer to here. So this is 1, 0. Understand? So we only take, we only take this value. The, the most left, we only, at uh, the most right, we take only 1. So we only take one digit. We put zero here. Okay. Next is one plus zero. Sorry, sorry. The next is one plus zero. So one plus zero, you have what? You have one. So one. Okay, this one is because we have extra. That's why we put here overflow one. So you have in gray code, you have zero one zero one. So that's why you have this number. Understand, everyone? Is it okay? Joey, okay. The rest, okay, yeah. Huh? Okay, so you can try. Huh? You can try on your own. Huh? You don't get it. You can see here is this is actually for the binary change to break code. The first you just drop it down, and the next one is zero plus one. Zero plus one is equals what? Zero plus one. You get one. So this one you put one here, and then the next digit is at this one plus with this one one plus one. In the binary number, so one plus one is actually zero one. Okay, one plus one is actually, uh, you know, uh, you have more. So you are zero and the other one carry forward to the next one. Okay, you, one plus one. Remember, this one is not uh, a decimal system, it's binary. So you can only have one or zero digit only. So one plus one is actually zero, one. 
This one is zero here. Okay. Ahmed, do you watch do you watch my previous lecture or not? Just be honest. Do you watch my previous lecture or not? Hmm? You watch it already? Oh, maybe my pre uh, wait, uh, wait, wait. Maybe my previous lecture uh, for wait, uh, wait. It's okay, wait. Uh, I try to check first. Uh, number system. Maybe it is in week three. Wait, uh, it's okay. Wait, wait. Chapter. Chapter two. Okay, we start with the part two of the lecture. It's okay. Uh, you you try. Uh, yes, did not cover. Uh, it's okay. So you try first. Uh, of course, this one will be record, but you can put, uh, see this one. Okay, uh, Marshall, Marshall and Ahmed. Okay, I know, I know, I know. I just realized that I didn't, uh, I didn't ask you to uh, to watch because this one is week three, but it's inside here. Okay, understand everyone? It's inside here, chapter two until week three, uh, part six. Do we have to memorize this code or are we given to us during exam? Everyone, uh, the important thing is to understand. If we give you the code, if you don't understand, uh, it will be a problem. In some way, we provide some, uh, we provide some uh, code, uh, provide some. I don't know the, I don't know the, 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 the the real appendix that will be given to student i don't know because i i didn't teach this subject last semester but i will know if i ask them i will know but my my point is that you guys need to understand the concept you guys need to understand the concept because even if we provide the appendix if you don't understand no point it's not about memorizing or not it's with it's whether understand or not okay it's okay if you don't understand now i'm not going i'm not going to be mad it's because you just learn okay that's why i ask you to watch the lecture and if it's not covered it's okay okay because i try to catch the syllabus now because remember we missed one class already last me last week remember we missed one class because of the king's birthday do you guys understand me everyone that's why i suddenly i become a bit faster because i need to finish this otherwise we will have replacement class more replacement class that's why intentionally it's not great code nah? You can see just now I try to cover, uh, I try to see course information just now. Then I see, oh no, I still need to cover. Okay. Actually, I want to uh, stop at this, but cannot. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, whatever I explain, okay, whatever I explain is has been shown here. Okay. Ahmed, uh, Osama, don't worry. Okay. It's have been shown here. Okay. And don't worry, it's already at my lecture video, okay, uh, which is on the week three, okay, it's in the week three, this one, okay, uh, don't, uh, it's each semester different, uh, uh, different, sometimes uh, it is in week three, sometimes in week two, sometimes week four, depends on semester, and because of COVID, sometimes we have to make the, the learning faster, because of COVID, uh, sometimes lockdown, sometimes, okay, so, so, but at least you can see all the content, uh, this one week three, yeah. Okay. Okay, where was I? <clears throat> so you can see uh MSB of or great code. Huh? This one is the same. Okay, so uh we will continue. We will continue um on the 20. I mean we will continue great code to binary in the next lecture. Okay, uh, I will provide okay. I will provide some exercise to all of you, okay? And some exercise maybe, maybe will not cover yet, okay? Understand? Uh, no Najwa, whatever, Akila, Musab, I will give you exercise. Maybe it is not covered yet uh, by my lecture. You don't need to do, but you will you will do it later. I mean, you will need, you don't need to do and present in tutorial, but later you still need to, to, to do it. Understand? I will give you in lump sum. This is topic two, topic one, you do in a group. But... You will do what uh, you do only until uh, what covered by the lecture. Understand? Understand my point? Okay. I will give you lump sum the entire topic one and two exercise. However, you will only do what uh, until I teach you. Okay. And the rest 